Hello and welcome to Usenet Reviews. In this short video we're going to explain the basics of Usenet, um, explaining what Usenet is, why anyone would want to use it, and how it does work. Uh, this is all for beginners, so um, let's get started. <clears throat> First of all, Usenet is a worldwide discussion group started in 1979 at Duke University. You can go look it up on Wikipedia. It predates the World Wide Web and it was created to promote open and unrestricted discussion. In 2003, right when this video is being recorded, uh, 2013, sorry, um, people pay, are paying access to, paying to access content known as binary files. Uh, so that means music, videos, and images, and that's why you would pay for Usenet access. Um, you can get it free, which we'll talk about here uh, in some situations. Um, so first of all, it, it Anything of a high quality, uh, fast access, uh, um, you're probably not going to be able to get for free. Uh, however, if you're a university student, you might be able to get free Usenet access. Um, uh, but typically, you're going to have to pay a few dollars a month. Now, it all depends on how much you download and, uh, and download speeds in the Netherlands uh, or very high uh, broadband speeds. You might have to pay a little bit more. Um, but any of our Usenet providers, uh, typically, you could get a $9 a month or $10 a month account, and that would take care of everything. So why would you want to pay for it? So think of all the content you can find on Usenet. So you can find anything and everything on Usenet. So think about all the content on BitTorrent. Um, so I'll show you um, the best way to uh, take a look and, and find content you're looking for. Um, you can read some of the tutorials on our site. Uh, we'll also give you a, a quick start in this video. So again, um, why would you use this instead of BitTorrent? Uh, you could run into legal problems with BitTorrent. Um, with Usenet, also um, downloads on BitTorrent can be slow depending on um, your, your internet connection. Typically you have to be sharing in order to download. Um, so which opens you up to potential legal problems with Usenet. Your downloads are faster, uh, the, the capacity of your broadband, and also private. So you're downloading from a central server. And you should always use SSL, which we'll talk about in other videos. All right. So, how does it work? You need three things: a newsreader, Usenet account, and some way to find the content you're looking for. So here, let's get started. I'll show you a newsreader here. We've got a news hosting newsreader. <clears throat> it's a nice, um, it's a good Usenet service. So this is a newsreader and a Usenet account all in one. Um, and then also we can also look for you know um, content we're looking for here. So uh, so what are we let's, let's, what are we looking for here? Let's see. Um, uh, let's think about this. Let's let's look. So here let's look for versions of Linux here. Um, Ubuntu Linux. Here, so here's something, you know, you can look for whatever you want. Uh, there's sorted by videos, audio, documents, ISO images, software images. But let's just go look for um, uh, Linux here. So all, we, all you got to do is type in what you're looking for, click download, and um, you, this the service with news hosting. You can see our news hosting review. This is a uh, a, um, a paid service. It's nine dollars a month with our special discount link. So here um, you can see everything downloading, and this is the. It's a pretty slow connection I have here, so it's downloading pretty much at the limit of my connection. Um, so again, news hosting, and there's other ways to do it. If you wanted to use a different service, uh, you could use another newsreader um, which we, we've talked about but basically you'll need a newsreader a Usenet account some ways to find the content you're looking for so here's a newsreader another example of a newsreader um, well you can look at our website this is an intro video and uh, Usenet account you can look at our best Usenet services and then some way to find the content you're looking for um, let's type in give you an idea of what's out there Pull this up for you here. Here's Ben Search. 
it's a good site. All right. You can type in whatever you're looking for. Trains. Pictures of trains. Um, so high speed trains. Uh, so there's lots of stuff out there you can look for, and there's different types of groups. Again, used it started from a discussion group format. Okay, so that's um, about that's about our the limit of our quick intro video. So visit Usenet reviews. We get some special prices, discounts, um, some extended free trial offers, and um, again, um, anything you can find on Usenet. Um, and you can find a BitTorrent you can find on Usenet. It's a lot safer and faster. The downside is you do have to pay, typically, a little few dollars a month. Um, you'll need a newsreader, Usenet account, some content, and a way to find the content you're looking for. Okay, any questions, uh, please comment on this video. Thanks.